Summers in Seattle and across western Washington are getting more intense every year, and residents are feeling it. The summers were just perfect, you know. In the last few years, they've gotten really, really hot. When I was growing up, nobody had an air conditioning unit because nobody needed it. This is video of the Como 4 drone over urban heat islands, which lag vegetation and trees. This causes those areas to be impacted the most during heat waves. Some residents say it's expensive trying to cool off. A lot of people, I'm sure, can't afford to either install cooling or even buy a window unit, for example. King County officials unveiled a new extreme heat mitigation strategy aimed at offering more resources and preparing residents. This strategy is a first for King County with 20 immediate and long-term actions ranging from increasing urban tree canopy and expanding access to parks and green space to creating community cooling locations. This new five-acre urban forest park is a step in creating cool and safe locations. This park is a model for offering green space where people and families can come and cool off during an extreme heat event. Putting these plans in place will cost money, which officials say it's being paid for through state and federal funding. Cooling centers are also an immediate focus for officials and residents like Diana Van Winkle, who says she relies on them during the summer. I have fans moving the, the stale air around, but uh, yeah, I think there should be, it should be in the buildings. Officials say their long-term plans also include increasing their heat safety awareness and getting people ready for the hot summer months. In Seattle, Karina Vargas, Como News.